An exploding movement of elite athletes are utilizing vegan diets to heal injuries, speed recovery times, and enhance their performance. Before I was vegan, I was only bench pressing 315 like five times. And then after going vegan, I was doing 400, 425. 465 and I was like oh my god this is amazing I'm vegan and I'm bench pressing 465 pounds this is ridiculous and as soon as I went vegan tendonitis started disappearing my strength in my right arm started coming back high blood pressure was going down you, you can't be strong and be dying on the inside that's not strong that's weak that's really weak because yeah you look big and strong on the outside yeah big man no but your heart's crying for help I started working out when I was 47 years old. All the muscles you see, I gained as vegan. I gained 15 pounds of muscles on my body, eating all plant-based vegan foods. All the uh, aches and pains in my body, it just went away. Because I'm not ingesting so many inflaming foods, the acidic foods that animal products are. Gorillas, rhinos, and elephants, they all get their muscles and strength from eating plants. That's what I do. No, I'm just filming just in case something no, happens, man. She, she's got it all fine. set up. Like on, on, the, on the video. Try to calm down, man. Hey, just try to relax. That's what I mean. She says, I'm not a bully. I think what I think what's about Products are gorillas, rhinos, and elephants. They all get their muscles and strength from eating plants. That's what I do. The primary difference of the digestive system between gorillas and humans is found in the gastrointestinal tract. Gorillas are herbivores so they need to be able to break down cellulose. Gorillas are known to be colon ferment, which is defined as the anaerobic breakdown of organic compounds. Chimps seem to have less control over how much muscle they use at once. While this may sound counterintuitive, this could account for the difference in strength. Let's take a look at why. Compared to humans, chimps have less gray matter relative to body weight. Gray matter is the part of the nervous system that contains the nerves responsible for controlling motion. Small motor units let us do delicate complex tasks, like playing a video game or plucking a ukulele. Things that we can do, and chimps can't. So chimps, who have less gray matter, have fewer motor neurons. Therefore, their motor neurons are more likely to be dedicated to large motor units. This means when they do engage their muscles, it's an all or nothing response, which we see as strength. You die? So I guess the famous question, where did you get your protein in there? <laughs> <laughs> From plants. When you eat something like a legume, you're consuming all those anti-nutrients and they affect you negatively. If you waste your power by asking your liver and your other toxin processing systems in your body to chew on some lentils that are a subpar food, you end up using some of your energy that should have gone towards living just on breaking down a cheap, not very productive food source. So if someone says, oh, you should eat lentils, your short answer should be, why would I do that when there are other sources of food that are less inflammatory that contain less naturally occurring anti-nutrients and toxins. Cows grab grass with their tongue. Saliva is secreted in the mouth to moisten feed, recycle minerals, and act as a buffer during fermentation in the rumen. As the honeycomb shape of the reticulum increases surface area, 
allowing for more absorption of nutrients. It's similar in function to the rumen, and both of these areas are usually referred to as the reticulorumen. Feed using a process called fermentation by bacteria, protozoa, and fungi. The population of each changes depending on the quality of forage and amount of grain in the diet. All microbes also produce hydrogen and carbon dioxide as they ferment the feed. As fermentation occurs, the rumen contracts to mix digesta and move liquids and fermented feed into the omasum.